So we're here at the Piney Woods Homestead. They got a nice place out here. If I get a chance, I may do a little walk around, see the gardens, the winter gardens, and chickens and hogs. And you got a sawmill over here. We saw all of his own lumber, and builds his structures. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to check that out. But today, we're gonna help him out cutting up these poplar trees over here. We're gonna help them cut these poplar trees out over here and split them up. And they're gonna use this, uh, Matt's brother Wesley brought his 25 ton log splitters and dirty hand tools. I imagine we'll get our hands dirty today, so that's a pretty good name. <laughs> I have never used this. Matter of fact, to be honest, I don't, I'm not familiar with this brand. But like I said, it is 25 ton. It looks pretty rugged. I think it'll do this good job. So I'll tell you what I think about this dirty hand tool, 25 ton, when I get done with it. Saw bucks. Uh, 
flower or something flat. Let's see a couple of these boards right here. Now, I don't know if you can see how much wood I got split here. Turn my phone flashlight on. It's dark out here.
So we went out to uh, our good friend Matt and Lisa's house and helped them split some firewood. And I said I'd do a review on this Dirty Hand Tools 25 ton wood splitter that I used. And I believe this uh, wood splitter had a six and a half horsepower Kohler engine. Like I said, it's 25 tons. It has the options of splitting wood either in the horizontal setup, which I utilized, and it also does vertically for those big logs. And you saw me busting up those big logs if you watched the video. Man, it handled them good. Keep it in mind, this is softwood, this is poplar, but I have no doubt, there was some hardwoods mixed in too, but I have no doubt it handled hardwood just as good. So yeah, like I said, it, it seemed to be a rugged uh, machine. Comparing it to the performance built wood splitter that I got from Lowe's, it, it worked just as good. And mine's a 27 ton, but this one uh, worked just as good. Got the job done, man, no doubt. Now I'm not sure exactly where uh, Wesley got his wood splitter from, this Dirty Hand Tools, because like I said, it's not a brand I'm familiar with. But I did do a little bit of research. I know it's a company based out of Colorado. So it may be in those big box stores throughout the nation. And certainly you can purchase it online. I don't know what the cost is. Anytime you try to buy something like that, it's a good idea to try to get something on sale. And of course you buy something used, you don't know what you're buying, but there are times you get a really good deal on a uh, quality piece of equipment that's been well kept if you try to get it used. So those are always options. This one, uh, it didn't have a cradle. Now they come with a cradle and I did some research. It appears they come with that cradle where you can uh, hoist the logs up on and rest the logs when you're splitting half the log, whatever. I think that's a helpful tool. But you saw I put those saw bucks up there, some wood, and that worked fine actually. But I also want to give a shout out to uh, Matt and Lisa down at Piney Woods. Um, you know, they blessed me with a good lunch with their family. They invited me into their house. I had a great meal, home cooked meal. So Matt's father, when he blessed the food, he also said a prayer over me. And I appreciate that very much. That means a lot to me. What's up, Timber? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I also wanted to uh, give a shout out to Mike and Terry over at MT Homestead. They sent me this shirt. It's a, it's a great shirt very comfortable and they got a great channel too man they were really kind people they helped me along a little bit being new to youtube as well so if you had time go check out mike and terry at mt homestead and of course i want you to check out my boy uh matt over at piney woods homestead like i said he's, he's been a little under the weather we're praying for him in the name of jesus for healing and all those out there who are sick right now man we got so many people who are under the weather let's get them over that weather and let's get them back to uh feeling well but uh, check out piney Woods homestead man he's got his own sawmill out there he builds his own structures he's got chickens and hogs he's, he's really good at raising hogs you'll learn a lot and it's uh entertaining so yeah both those channels man i highly support and highly recommend thank you carolina hill country 13 a